Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your video today. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, you can have placements in Sagittarius watching on Libra Light today. So we have at the bottom of the deck, and I should have covered her too. All my cards today are like uncovered. <laughs> I don't know why. We have the world. I'm going to flash it really quickly. You completed something in the recent past, Sagittarius. You could be going on to new things. You could feel also a zeal like Libra is if you pay attention to Libra placements on the channel. We're going to check you out now with a past, present, and what's coming up in the future. Uh, it's highly requested. Many people have Sagittarius placements on the channel, so I'm just going to explore that. We are using today the Awakened Tarot to start. That's the backing, and we will see what your recent... Past. Thank you, Sag. Okay, one flipped for you on the table, but I can't see it. The Empress, the Sun, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, she shot over there near the camera. I'll show you that I have the Empress too. Libra, Taurus. You feel revived about something dealing with like your job, your pentacles. There's a revision here in your life. And that's how I want to start the reading because... You seem to have come to a place of opulence with the Empress card. And of course, it's Libra and Taurus energy, but you feel good here at this point in your life. You could be discovering something that opens up your mind about ideas. I also get like financial ideas with the Queen of Pentacles and you have the residuals of Capricorn season. Okay, we're heading into Aquarius. What's the day today? Oh, we're in Aquarius already. It's way past about three days in. It's funny that we have a Capricorn card here. You could be dealing with Taurus, Libra, Capricorn so far, and you made a completion in your life really, really recently. Could have been a relationship, a tie to your occupation. Um, you could have left a job. You could have left certain people in your recent vicinity. It called for... Um, it called for your power to come back because the sun is also recalling your power, your intuition. Something's held bright in the current moment. You could also be dealing with Leo as well. And also, above all else, if you look at the child Sagittarian in the card, it's about a revival of whom you were in the past too, calling back some of the loves that you recall to. Um, some of you could feel like this is a new season going into February with relationships Patching up to like your closest ones, that's also coming through for you. Libra had a similar message and you have the 19th major arcana that rounds to a 10. The world card, whenever I see it too, it's a 10-10 because it's a closure. So you have a lot of that going on in your reading too. Okay, Sagittarius, so we're going to take our time in this reading. I'm not going to be speedy at all. I'm going to get all of the recent happenings and the past. Show me past cards for a relationship, please, for Sag. How do I read that? Thank you. Ace of Swords. You found out something about relationships to people around you. Maybe even hear the truth. Maybe that you knew the truth all along, Sagittarius. That's air energy. I feel here in the recent past, something's coming in into your reading about not having the closest relationships were not the most reliable. And I don't know why I'm getting a channel like that. But you found out about it, okay, through maybe even like being a spy yourself or researching. You understood that you could pick your family. You could pick your soul tribe. And that's also what's here. What's coming in? Your own card with fire. The eight of wands. Yeah, close connections to good friends. I also feel like they're talking back in this season. They're creating conversation with you. It's a good time for communicating with people who also see your value. And that's what's coming in here. This is your suit in tarot. It's very much what you're good at. You are a fiery sign. So you're able to exemplify ideas very well. Communicate also that you are a person deserving of the sun. This comes in as relationships, and the past seems to have brought in a truth for you with the Ace of Swords judgment. You're coming up on a new decision. I think this is really soon, like the next few weeks. Everyone's getting the judgment card, okay? Um, and as we balance this out, Sagittarius, you have like this explosive way of expressing yourself. It might come in through, I don't know if someone's giving you an opportunity in the moment, because that's what I see here, connection to get you to do something new, or you could have a mutual contact here, okay, that kind of spreads the word for you. 
um, judgment. Yeah, you're making this decision though, and it might be the betterment for your next chapter. February is going to be really interesting for you. It's going to be really talkative. I think you might even make new contacts here that are rather amazing. It could even come from those beginning signs, Leo, Taurus, Libra, and the Queen of Pentacles, which is Capricorn. But I think this is you. Okay, so let's pick up the piece here. Seven of Cups, that's coming up. You have a lot of options. There's something coming in about higher pay for my Sagittarians. You might look into something that increases your wealth. You might be making more this year. So you're doing the research in order to facilitate that new improvement. I'm getting what I'm seeing in your reading as opposed to Libra's is I see the set of home improvement and I see all the characters specifically Tim Allen and it's like home improvement so there might be something going on in your home as well and um, you're getting sort of those types of adjectives improving stepping up you have the options here just call them it's something about you have them already you just haven't taken the next steps Sagittarius you have contacts even from like years before too that could be coming in for you. And this is a current card. Seven of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, connections to water signs also. Or people with heavy water placement. What else is here for Sag? Thank you. The Six of Swords. You're healing something in the moment. Could be your heart. It's like I get disappointing energy from the past. Maybe people didn't interact the way that you maybe were giving to. You were over giving. They were not taking your word and receiving in an equal amount. And now you're balancing that out. You're equalizing the plane. You could be healing something really beautiful from where you're standing. I don't know who that's for, but you're healing a part of your heart that definitely has a necessity or you need to. Challenge is the Four of Swords. Okay, what I see in your reading with this is you have a lot of swords here in the current. You have rest and you also have healing. You're mending a relationship that meant a lot to you in the recent past and taking steps to actually rejuvenate your body or heal from the outside in. I don't know why that's coming in. I have to say it though in this read because I'm channeling at this time and it's about that rest wherever you are. This to me is like ultimate healing you take a nap you rejuvenate your body however long that takes and kind of healing outside in there's something about that four of swords okay and Sagittarius let me just I'm gonna play a different relaxing music I have a couple that are on 10 hour replays here so I'm just adjusting it to be louder for you four of swords what's coming in for love what are the love cards for Sag Thank you. We have a pentacles. Which one is this? That's nine. Are you a single that I'm speaking to in this reading? Like really focused on making more money in the year? Some of you it's material. Like you will just focus on material wealth. But for love, this is a single current person. Really abundant in your stature. You don't compare yourself to others. Very unique Sagittarian I'm speaking to. Heading towards the sun. That's nice. You could be planning a few fun things coming up or you're already in that energy because I see that this person takes advantage of that content space. Um, Libra had the word satisfaction in their reading, but you have it in the material realm. Okay, so you could be reaping the rewards from what you recently had or worked for. Nine of Pentacles. What's going on for love since I asked here? We have a single person, the star. Everyone's getting this too, especially Aquarians. The star card and I have to cover up because there's nudity. Um, let me gather myself here. The mark has been missed on a talent that you have, okay? And I don't know who this is for. It could be a Sagittarius who really needs to hear this. The mark has been missed, but you've also picked up where you're really, really good at something, okay? It could be making you money too because of the Nine of Pentacles. You're rather strong, in this position because it's created money for you in the past. I almost see that the nine of pentacles has worked with the star. Let me just cover her up in the past. So it's going to be, I guess, a lucrative thing if you do this even part time. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone in this read, but that's the channel is if you just tap into it a little bit more, it can make you a lot of money. Okay. Sagittarius, a lot of material like advice in your reading. 
Can I see the messages for love? The connection to someone is the eight of wands currently. You have two of them in your reading. There's definitely what I see here is a back and forth. Someone is very reciprocal in your life wanting to be there for you. I think you appreciate this because it's been a long season of being there for everybody else, if that makes sense. So there's a reciprocal person here for you. They could be fire as well. They could also be fire like you. Okay. Two eight of wands. You're definitely communicating at this time, sharing maybe even your life, what you do on a daily basis. Some of you are really creative too, because my creative cards are these. I think going back and forth and sharing your ideas and truth, that's very much creative as a person for me, as a reader. Okay? More love energy, what was here in the past and what's coming in in the future for Sag. Thank you. I have a couple cards. The Fool and the Knight of Cups. You're starting a new relationship. <laughs> point blank with the fool to the knight of cups i feel like you know this knight of cups person already they exist in your current path he's on a bicycle so i feel like maybe some of them need to travel toward you or there's travel inferences with that knight of cups you might be dealing with fire gemini libra aquarius aquarius with the star card and aries okay sag and then if you know water signs as well because this is all water how do they feel towards Sagittarius at this time? Thank you. They feel a couple cards and I can't see them. The Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. A lot of emotion. Those are all water cards and water is emotions. Someone sees you as their happiness. You're very fulfillment -y to this person. You could be a future husband or wife. Um, they can see a little bit of themselves in you. And you are happiness. It comes in as a commitment, like somebody wants to be with you, okay? And a lot of emotion towards what you have to offer. There you go. I could be speaking to a divine masculine Sagittarius, all right? Let's continue. They feel the king of cups for you. Okay, let's see that. A lot of cups. Why do they feel the king of cups? Scorpio energy? Aha, your very own card, Sag. Temperance. You are like, you're a balanced personality for them. You have a good, you have a good tone of being a hard worker and also someone who can have fun and let your hair down. Someone you views you as very peaceful. Temperance card, Sagittarius. Hard worker too. I have the Eight of Pentacles. You work hard for your cash, okay? Somebody sees you have a good balance of that plainly. I didn't even see the Eight of Pentacles. You're both fun and you're very much a hard worker with the eight it seems like you have this good balance but you also know how to let your hair down at the same time so i do want to say that temperance is kind of like um it's a patience and also a balanced effort so they see you in your very own energy sagittarius that's beautiful can't ask for anything better we have an empress card i completely miss this so someone could be very attracted to you at this time the empress she comes off that way very very mystical um in real life if you were to see an empress in person they're absolutely stunning because it shows through their body what their abilities goals and skills have kind of inducted into this human being all right let's see what else is here for the eight of pentacles this comes off so current for you uh let's check on that eight of pentacles two of cups definitely relationship material I love this Two of Cups, by the way. Super modern um, with the Two of Cups. It's like they see themselves working with you two in the future to build, building cards, all right? If you don't have a new person yet, I believe from a distance they even see this balance to you because it looks like work is like really focused in your sign today. You're a hard worker, but you also know how to let your hair down with that temperance. Can you explain temperance to me for the Sagittarian? Just gonna shuffle here real quick, Sag. What's this temperance to the King of Cups relationship-wise manifesting you with the magician, okay? It's not like wanting you back if this is an old person. That's not what I'm getting. I get that they can manifest with you and you seem like a likely person to do that with. 
I don't know if it shows how hard you work or maybe you're very public about this, Sag, but this person can see that you have a good balance. That's important to them going into the future. So your new person is coming in as a Gemini or Virgo. I also have a Taurus and Libra. I also have your very own sign. You could be dealing with another Sag. And I also have the Two of Cups, which is mainly water for you today. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Let me know how this resonated. If you'd like me to read for you again, Sag, just let me know. Or if you have placements here and some of these are your cards, it's looking like they feel the King of Cups to you on this Friday, which is Scorpio. Okay, let's check the bottom of the deck. The Lovers, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands. Excuse me, I'm like still adjusting to this new deck. Yes, definitely working on personal prosperity. Some of you have a business personal prosperity and recognition for something you're being recognized right now that's a recognition based card it's also winning and we see that you could be focused on a new relationship with the lovers okay or someone's intrigued to find you relationship material two of cups to the lovers card i'll see you guys in the next few videos might do aries today i am not sure uh let's see if we we might knock out another libra one i'll see you guys in a little bit